How to calculate occupancy break-even point. The occupancy break-even point is the point at which your occupancy is, is what level it is that equates to you breaking even in terms of cash flow. Okay, so it's your cash flow break-even point at, at what level do you, of, of occupancy do you have to achieve? Okay, pretty much that's what it is. Now, here's the equation, but before I go there, the, the reason why you want to know that is especially in cases where you're, you have a lot of vacancy and you're fixing up your apartment building and uh, let's say it's a 100 unit apartment uh, unit and, uh, and 40 are only occupied so you have 60 to renovate. So in a huge projects like this and you need to know at what point how many tenants do I need to move in where I'm starting to break even and even cash flow. Okay, That's why it's important to know. Alright, so here's the equation. Uh, occupancy break even point, the formula is your annual operating expenses plus your annual mortgage payments divided by your annual gross rental, uh, gross potential rental income. Now this is gross potential, that means if all the units are occupied, okay, gross potential, potential. Alright, okay, so I'm going to use my example over here, so I have my operating expenses of 23940 plus annual mortgage payments of 34,128 divided by my gross potential rental income, $72,000 here, gross rental income, uh, as if I'm 100% full, okay? That equals 80%, okay? So that means that uh, once I achieve 80%, I'm break even. Anything over that, I'm cash flowing. Anything under this, I'm negative cash flowing, okay? So, again, in summary, Occupancy break even point of at least 80%, I'm breaking even, okay? Occupancy of uh, greater than 80%, I'm positive cash flow. And occupancy break even point of less than 80%, I'm negative cash flow, okay? So um, if this was a 100 unit property and my break even point is 80%, that means I have to have at least 80 occupied to break even. Once the 81st person move in, that's all cash flow. Anything above that is pure cash flow. Now, uh, if I had the same 100 unit property and I'm at 79 units occupied, that means I'm still negative cash flow. Okay, got it? All right, so there you go. How to calculate break-even point uh, percentage.